Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will uh, make unboxing and first impression about this entry level beginners lab oscilloscope. Let's begin. So let's begin. As you can see, was very well packed. Here we have the software CD. These are the two probes, power cable and the USB cable. I will let the foil on the screen. I just will take out this. Uh... So this is it. This is the perfect oscilloscope for desk entry level for beginners. It's uh, the cheapest that I found, was approximately 200 euros. Now let's make some tests. It's uh, two channels, 100 megahertz and has a lot of features. Now let's power this up. As you can see, boot very quick. First thing, when you use an oscilloscope like this, you have to adjust the probe. Let's adjust the probe. This probe is cheap, but it's good. First thing, now let's adjust the probe. We have this uh, screwdriver. We have to put on this generator. We'll use auto set. It looks pretty good. Let's see what happens when we adjust this. This adjusts the capacitance and impedance of the probe. This is perfect. Now that the probe is adjust, I will, use, I will show you what is the most uh, liked function. 
first one is auto set that adjust uh, frequency and uh, level and second one it's measure here we can have uh, frequency period mean and peak to peak Now let's use the signal generator. We'll use this simple generator. This is ground. This is signal. We'll put the probe on 1x. Now let's auto set. This is the maximum frequency from this uh, generator. Approximately 1 megahertz. Let's go to the measure function. One megahertz. As you can see, it's not a perfect sinus, but it's good uh, for small test. My first impression is it's a very good quality for this price. Now I don't know how to use all the functions, but I will read uh, this manual and uh, I will learn all that uh, he can do. Now let's test the second channel. This is all also red. I will have to change this ring to blue. As you can see, it's uh, perfectly adjust the probe it's adjust now as you can see it's uh, perfectly working we have uh, The voltage it's 5 volts peak to peak frequency it's 3 kilohertz it has a lot of function this one it's a channel 2 menu for DC AC probe 1x or 10x this is 10x I have to adjust 1x. Let's check. Channel 1. Probe. I have to set the probe to 1x. Menu on off mode
this is position and uh, adjustment time adjustment position horizontal menu level for trigger this is the level for triggering signal triggering menu automatically set trigger to 50 percent now it's not working because it's in uh, now let's triggering to 50 percent triggering menu utility a lot of information cursor off display acquire auto set and single sequence now let's test something very important let's check all the ground connections as you can see all four grounds are connected together that means that if uh, this uh, ground of the probes are connected together you have to be very careful where you connect uh, you have to be very careful to not make short circuit on with these uh, grounds it's enough to use only one ground but if you use uh, both grounds you have to be sure that uh, these two points are perfectly isolated because this will make a short I took out this so you have to be very careful when you use uh, both uh, channels because uh, these two grounds will make a short my first impressions are very good about this oscilloscope i uh, will test it a month or two and uh, if you want i will make a second review with with details if you have some questions please put it in a comment see you in next video bye